give us the backstory here. This stake has been built up for a while, 900 million of it. Yeah, we think he's been building this fairly slowly. Um, there had been rumblings actually way earlier in the year, around April, that there was an activist potentially looking at Starbucks. Um, and he had actually teed up this reveal as well. There had been lots of, you know, lots of pre-game to this. Agman was going to say something at this conference today. Everyone was trying to second-guess the position. As far as I know, no one had put Starbucks out there as one of the, the likely candidates. But, yeah, he, he came out and revealed it, and the stock has reacted accordingly. So what do we know about the story behind this? Because Bill Ackman usually has a pretty good story to tell. He does. And crucially, he usually has a pretty nasty story to tell, at least mm -hmm. about the, the companies he's investing in, how they're managed, what they've been doing wrong. This is not one of those. He's very positive. He's been, if you look at the presentation, it's, uh, it's fairly long, 43 pages, I think. He's mostly very nice about Starbucks. He says it's a great company, has fantastic market share, great products. He's actually also complimentary of the new management. He says, look, they're new in the seat, but they're doing a good job. He's pleased with the initiatives. So really what he's saying is, look, I like the company, and now's a chance to own it on a relatively cheap basis. So I'm going to do so. He says the stock can trip. He says the stock actually can double in three years, and he thinks it can have EPS growth of I think 19% within four years if all goes well, which is really would be astonishing returns. So he's not agitating for anything specific then. No, he's really saying you guys have a bunch of initiatives that I kind of like, and I'm going to get behind them. So this is something anyone could do. You know, mom and pop investors could jump in here. It's a, it's a, it's a great investment. Now, one interesting thing worth noting is that the chairman of Starbucks, um, Mike Allman, was the CEO chairman of JCPenney when Ackman jumped in there. That was probably his most acrimonious fight. He actually got rid of Allman, uh, brought someone in who subsequently destroyed much of that company. So from just talking to some people before I came on air who were involved in that process, uh, Mike Allman doesn't have much in the way of love for Bill Ackman. I think I mm. was told he actually hates his guts. So it will be interesting to see huh. how those two gel with Ackman being the sort of the nice guy activist in this situation. Yeah, playing nice. Not much of an activist, it seems, in this particular play. And we haven't actually heard that much... There's been that much activity from this activist in terms of public statements of late. How has Pershing Square been performing? Yeah, it's a great point. He, um, he actually said his, one of his last big public statements was that he was not going to be making more public statements. When was that? Uh, that was earlier this year, sort of somewhat in the wake of the, uh, the situation around ADP where he was extremely public, failed to do a good job of communicating what the company was, let alone what was wrong with it. And um, then he had lows. And I think off the back of that, he just said, look, you know, too much of this is about me. This is too much about Bill Ackman, the showman, and not enough about the rationale of these investments. And it was a sensible decision. He said he would be still talking to investors, but he was going to step back from a lot of the sort of public performance. So a new look Bill Ackman. A new look and apparently a nicer Bill yeah. Ackman as well. Who would have thought?